Hello, welcome to another Unity Networking Tutorial. Today we will learn how to create a simple local multiplayer application via Wi-Fi. To create this application we will use the Asset Basic Wi-Fi Local Multiplayer. First we will import the library directly from the Asset Store. Now we are going to create a simple plan that will serve as the floor of the game arena. Add a simple cube to the game scene. Basically each game client will be able to control their own cube around the room. Now we will create a simple script called Cube Manager to be able to control the movement of the cube around the arena. Open the Cube Manager script with the code editor of your choice. As it is a simple script for moving the cube, I will edit it in the background adding user inputs and applying the inputs to transform, position and transform, rotation. Now make this cube a prefab. What we're going to do now is create two scripts for the multiplayer magic to work. The first script we will create will send the status of the local player to the server and receive new updates from the server as well. Create a new script called Basic Network Manager. We also need to create a new script for the server. Create a new script called Basic Server. In the scene, create a new empty game object called Networking. Add the main script for the local multiplayer basic Wi-Fi library to this game object, UDP client component. Add our basic network manager and basic server scripts to the same object. Open the basic network manager script with a code editor. In this script we only need to do three things. We need to connect our client to the server, if there is no server it will be created automatically when the first client makes the connection. Second, we need to send the position and rotation of our cube to the server. Third, we need to receive the position and movement of cubes from other players. In the script header, enter the instruction, using UDP client module. With this instruction we can use the functions available in UDP client component. Now we are going to create some variables. Create a game object type variable called cube prefabs. Obviously this variable will store the prefabs of the cubes that represent each player. Create a new variable of type UDP client component called UDP client. Create an int type variable called serve port that will represent the port on which the server will be opened. Create a new static variable of the type of the basic network manager class called instance. Create a variable of type dictionary called network players. Basically this variable is a list that will store the players. In the start method initialize the UDP client and instance variables. Now we will create a method to connect to the server that we will program next. Create a method called connect to UDP server. 
In the connect to UDP server method we will generate a random port for our game client. Use the connect method of UDP client to connect to the server. This method asks for three parameters. The server IP provided by the library itself, the server port that, that we will define by default like 3310 in the client port that was automatically generated. Before connecting our client and instantiating the cube in the game, we need to know if there is already a server running, started by some other client. For this we will create a ping pong routine. Basically this routine will send a ping message to an alleged server running, and if there is an existing server, it will return a pong response back to the customer. If we do not receive any response from the server, it means that there is no server running and we must create a new one. Create a new method called emit ping. In the emit ping method create a dictionary type variable called data. In this variable create two fields. One containing the name of the ping function that will be found on the server and another field called msg containing the message to be sent to the server. To send the message to the server we will use the emit command from the UDP client library. Save the basic network manager script and open the basic server script. So that, that we don't have to create the whole server script from scratch, we'll use part of the shoot server script code in the 2D shooter example of the asset basic Wi-Fi local multiplayer. Also open the shoot server script present in the 2D shooter example. Copy all variables and methods from the script and paste into our basic server script. Ready we have a complete server for our basic example. Go to the unlistening clients method. Note that, that we already have a routine prepared to receive the ping message from the customer. Proceed to the un receive ping function. Basically this function receives the message sent by the emit ping method and sends a pong response back to the basic network manager class. Save the script and return the basic network manager class. We must now create a listener to receive the message pong from the server. Return to the connect to UDP server method and create an instruction of type UDP client on with the parameters pong, identifying which function we are hearing from the server. Followed by the on print pong message parameter, which is the signature of the function that will handle the server's pongo response. Create the onPrintPong message function. In the onPrintPong message function we will set the server found variable to true. To connect our client to the game create the emit join game method. Basically this method will send the server a request to join the game. Before putting the player online, we check if any servers were found using the server found variable. Remember that this variable is modified in the ping pong routine. In the emit join method we will create a variable called data of type dictionary. Create a new field in the data variable called callback underscore name. Assign to the callback underscore name field. With the name of the function on the server that will receive the player's join request. In this case on the server the function is identified by join underscore game. A simple routine was created to generate a random id to identify the player. Create a new field in the data variable called id. This id will identify the local player to other players. Assign to the field id, the randomly generated id. To send this information to the server we will use the emit method of our UDP client component element. Go back to the basic server script. 
In the basic server script you will find the on receive join game routine. This routine receives the player's request to enter the game. In on receive join game, we store the player in a list. Then the server authorizes the player to enter the game, sending the join underscore success response. Still in this function, the server sends all players who are already online to the player who entered the game. To send the players we use the return message spawn underscore player. Likewise, the server sends the new player to all other old players. For this we send a broadcast message using the spawn underscore player routine. Return to the basic network manager script. In the connect to UDP server method insert a new UDP client on join underscore success statement. We will now create the onJoin game function. In onstantiate instruction to instantiate the local player. Assign the name of the local player to the ID we send from the server. We now repeat the same procedure for the spawn underscore player function. In the cube move script, we created a few more variables. And we made a few small changes to make the multiplayer work correctly. We transmit the position and rotation of the cube to the server through the emit pos and rot method in the same way that, that we did previously in the ping pong and join game routine. And update the relative positions of other players using the update position and update rotation functions.